Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to look at longitudes and latitudes, whereby a question tells us that a plane leaves an airport A 41.5 degrees to the north, 36.4 degrees to the west at 9 a.m. and flies due north to airport B on latitude 53.2 north, taking pi as 22 out of 7 and radius of the earth as 6370. Part A, calculate the distance covered by the plane in kilometers. Remember to subscribe to this channel and also to share the link with your friends. We are going to look at the positions on the Earth's surface of some airports here. If this is prime meridian and this one equator, then we are told on the latitude... 41 in the north, which is this one, 0.5 degrees, and longitude 36.4 in the west, longitude 46, 36, sorry, 0.4 in the west, we have a plane, an airport A, that is where the plane starts moving, then it goes up northwards so it means because it is flying due north then it is following this great circle this longitude until it reaches latitude 53.2 in the north <clears throat> we are told now to calculate this distance the distance covered along a great circle distance in kilometers Along a great circle is given by theta out of 360 times 2 pi times r, where this one is radius of the earth and this one is the difference in latitude. Because we are moving from latitude 41.5 until we reach 53.2, then we can subtract and know. So when we subtract, 53.2 and 41.5 then we realize that we have covered an angle difference of 11.7 therefore we use 11.7 out of 360 times 2 multiplied by 22 out of 7 multiplied by 6370 the radius of the earth therefore in kilometers we shall get times 2, times 22, times 6370, then we divide by 360 by 7. This gives us 1,301.3 kilometers. 0.3 kilometers. So that is the distance from A to B, which is at the north. So this is our B. Then we are given more questions. Part C of this question says, the plane stopped for 30 minutes to refuel at B and flew due east to C, 2,500 kilometers from B. Calculate, Roman 1, the position of C. Therefore now, we have another airport, C, which is 25 and it is to the east of, to the east of B. Therefore from B, going to the east, until we cover 2,500 kilometers, then we are going to arrive at C. Therefore, C is somewhere on a known longitude, but we are sure the distance from B to C is going to be 2,500. Therefore, the first thing to realize here is that the distance along a small circle, because now we are flying, we are flying across a small circle, is given by data out of 360, 2 pi r cosine of the latitude, where the two places are lying. This means because we have the distance as 2500 equals to the angle difference, which we don't know, divided by 360 multiplied by 2 times 22 out of 7 times 6370 cosine of, remember the two places, are on latitude 
53.2. Therefore, now with this, we can now get the angle theta here by multiplying 2500 with 360 and 7. Then we divide them with 2 times 22 times 6370 cosine of 52, that is 53.2. This gives us 37.52 degrees. Therefore, we are covering from B 37.52 degrees until we reach where C is. And now that <clears throat> B is at 36.4 and we are going through an angle difference of 37.52, then it means we will pass the prime meridian and still have some more minutes or some more degrees to the east side. So it means to the east, we will have 37.52 and we subtract 36.4 such that we are getting one degree, 1.2 to the east. Therefore, to write the position of C, it will be 53.2 degrees in the north, 1.12 degrees in the east. So this will be the coordinates of place C, where the plane is finally. Then the last part, we are finding the time the plane lands at C if its speed is 500. So if the speed of the plane is 500 kilometers per hour, we can first of all get the total distance. Total distance will be when we have 13.01.3 plus 2500 zero, zero. that is the total distance which is 1301.3 then plus 2500 this gives us 3801.3 for us to get the time taken we are going to to get 3801.3 and we divide with a speed of 500 so dividing this by 500 will give us 7 hours and 36 minutes. 7 hours 36 minutes is the total time when the plane will be moving. But now remember, there is a 30 minutes stoppage. Therefore, we can add the 30 minutes when the vehicle stopped to get refueled. So it means 06, we carry an hour. 8 hours and 6 minutes will be the total time it took. Something else to master is that there is what we call time difference in longitudes. From one from one uh, <clears throat> one longitude to the other, we have a difference of we have a difference of 4 minutes, a difference of 4 minutes, which means which means uh, the time at sea is ahead of the time at B and the time at A. Therefore, when it was 9 a.m., the starting time of this plane, the time at C was not 9 a.m. C was ahead in time. And the time C was ahead is, we have the angle difference already as 37.52. Therefore, we are going to get time difference. Time difference first. A time difference of 37.52 and we multiply by 4 such that we'll get 7.52 by 4 and we are getting 150 minutes. 150 minutes when we divide by 60 you realize that this is two and a half hours. So two and a half hours which means two hours 30 minutes. Therefore original time at C when the plane was starting should be 9 exactly plus 2 30 that means when the plane was starting its journey it was already 11 30 hours at sea and now it took all this time 7 hours 36 minutes to travel and 30 minutes stoppage so which means arrival time 
arrival time is going to be 11:36 11:30 8:36 8:06 8, sorry so this gives us 36 19 hours 19:36 hours is the time of arrival on the same day and we can also express it in the 12 hour clock system whereby this will be 7 36 p.m. So that is the time of arrival. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share the link.